All right, so I'm back again. I just want to do something real quick. Um, just a quick video, just as I have notes here or a list. Just a quick video just about my favorite um, or just some YouTubers that I'll check for once in a while. You know, if I'm painting or working on the, what I'm working on, I'm working on the KUT, this is the Wu-Tang Art Show. I'm working on the Wu-Tang Art Show right now. It's going to open October 5th, downtown Phoenix. But anyway, um, I'll, you know, I'll throw on some YouTubers, you know, and just listen to what they got to say. And it's just my background, you know, I'll just have it on. It made me laugh. Some of them got knowledge. Some of it's just for, you know, for entertainment. You know, so I have a list here of some that I subscribe to and some not subscribe to, but I will go and um, check and check on them and then see if they got anything new up. So as far as I'm going to start with the, the ones that bring like information when I need some info that, that are good ones. Um, so if you're into music or any kind of stuff like that, these are the ones that I, I follow. It's probably a lot. It's plenty out there, but these are some that they give you that music game. and They're pretty good. So this guy, his channel's called Music Millionaires. He's dope. If you're doing music, check out Music Millionaires. Another one, this brother, his channel's called Pay Us No Mind. P-U-N-M. Pay Us No Mind. That's the name of the channel. Good. He got some good knowledge on music business. Um, who else? Those are the music ones. Those three. Those are good. It's no, it's, there's some more out there. Oh, and then there's um, Music Business Advice. This guy's good, too, if you're releasing a project. Good music information. And then the motivational types. Um, I got my Les Brown, my Evan Carmichael. He did those top tens. Um... Those are pretty good. And uh, Be Inspired is a channel that's good. And then Tony Robbins. I'll stop over there and see what Tony got going on and um, listen to his some of his work. So um, then those are like the the real good like information type ones, the ones that really help you. And then all the rest fall into categories of like um, entertainment. So some of the ones I go to for entertainment, I'll go to uh, Star, you know, Star from uh, Star and Buck Wild. So Star, um, Star Chamber. His channel, I'll, I'll check him out once in a while. He he gets on it, you know, Star. <laughs> so he, he'll keep you laughing. He always brings some, something from the street. You know, Star Star is, uh, Star is unique from Jersey, like myself. So we got Star and then Breakfast Club. When they got a good interview up or I'll check Donkey Today or something like that, I'll check out the Breakfast Club. Um, if it's an interview with somebody I want to I want to hear from, I'll, um, I'll go watch. Then um, I don't know if you know uh, Carcino for Life, but um, he's out of Chicago, I believe. He covers, I think he's out of boxing is his main thing. But he covers all entertainment. He has a series of stories and um, things he was telling for a little while. They were funny. He seemed to know a lot of entertainers. I don't know if he's making it up or what, but I think he's, I think he's straight up on a lot of them. Um, but he tell a lot of hip hop stories, seen that rub shoulders with a lot of people in, in the industry. So Carcino for Life, I'll check him out once in a while. Not a lot though. Occasionally I'll swing by there. Um, then we got uh, whatever, um, whatever Dame Dash channel is. I forget the name of it, but um, whatever name of his is pretty good. They, um, I forget what it's called, but anyway, the Dame Dash his channel is pretty good. He got some, he got some knowledge for you. So I'll check out Dame. Um, and I brought Dame up, and right behind that, Vlad TV. You know, he's culture vulture, but Vlad he has a good interview. And then when you have Lord Jamal in there, I'll check that out anyway. But he um. It's a good, it's a good one. It's a good one, culture vulture. But when he brings a good interview on, somebody we ain't hear from him in a while, like a legend or something, I'll check out Vlad. Um, who else we got? Then you know, not you're not a mean God cast. That's Lord Jamal's channel. Um, he got his own thing on him and Rod Digger. It's pretty good. That's a pretty good one to check out. Um, Doggy Diamonds is good. He always has some good content and good interviews. Doggy Diamonds. Um, then we move into so those are my entertainment this can blend into entertainment also but it's some they seem to have like a cause behind what they're doing i'll check them out once in a while i don't know where he's been um i guess he's still around but uh brother polite uh, another a lot of y'all know brother polite so i'll check him out see what he got going um then with brother polite comes side netter side netter man he um i'll check out brother i'll check out side netter 125th Street in Harlem, Cat out. Um, I'll check him out, and then in the same bag, um, Hassan Campbell, Poppy, you know, um, brother Poppy. They, although they all go together, they all come like from the same vein, but different. Um, Hassan Campbell, you know, come from the African Bambada child molestation thing. Um, you know, he has good content, got good stuff to say, but then they get into battles and they beef with each other. Him, side that it'd be a something going on, but it's some good knowledge there with him. Then it's this other stuff going on. So, you know, but uh, Hassan Campbell seemed to have a good good channel. Got a big following, man. A lot of people love that dude. Um, like I said, I'll check him out when he's bringing it. Um, same with Sadnetter. They got big followings. And uh, Polite, of course, they all got big followings. 
Um, and then we get into more of the knowledge. No, no, no. Then in that same vein, there's this dude I followed recently. He's from Jersey named Max HD. M-A-X HD. He's pretty good. He has a decent channel. I'll, you can jump in the chat. He goes live once in a while. I'm still building his thing up. And he don't mind you jumping in and um and chiming in. Even if he's talking about something, he'll flip the subject. It's just a good open open dialogue. He has some good some good videos up already. You can go check his whole uh catalog out. So that's Max H D. He's pretty good. Um, another Jersey dude. Um and then um O'Shea Duke Jackson. I I, I mess with O'Shea. He do some he got some good stuff going. I think he has a good um he got a good platform, the manosphere or whatever. It's pretty good. He's living in uh, Poland. Um, he's a doctor. He's from the U.S., but lives in Poland. Becoming a doctor, he got a good, good mouth game. He's funny, you know. Um, got got a good channel, good channel, good following, all that. And um, then moving into like the entertain, same so long entertainment is uh, thought crimes. This is a good channel. Um, it's a male and a female. I forget the guy name and I forget the girl's name too. But anyway, they have a good channel. They do they do some like entertainment, like interviews. They'll cover some stories and like hip hop and stuff. So. If I want to catch up on anything with that, I'll go on the thought crimes. And there's some more too. I, I don't have them all here. I may do another. I may do this again. I may do another list and cover more. But then when it comes to like knowledge, it's like um, otherworldly knowledge, controversial um, conspiracy knowledge, or just real knowledge, like stuff that people just don't know, never heard of. Days of Noah. Check out Days of Noah. Throw him in your search. Look at his content. Uh, he's well researched. He's on his game. He's pretty good. Days of Noah is good. He just he hasn't dropped in a while, but the ones he has in his catalog, you can go back and watch those. So Days of Noah is pretty good. Um, then Black Magic 363. That's Brother Rich out of New York, and um, he teams up with uh, Professor Griffo. Come on, from uh, Public Enemy. So they all do a show together. I think it's Wednesday nights when they do their show. So uh, Black Magic 363 is good. Um, then Professor Griff's channel, um, Serious Minds. Um, he, he has a good channel. He cover he's covered the latest when he when he can. I think he pops on maybe every week now, but Professor Griff's channel is pretty good. Um so yeah, so yeah, those are just some of the ones um that I follow. Oh, there's one dude that's missing. He seems to battle with he goes into the you know, if you like the BS and they when they going at each other, because they, they they tend to do that in, in YouTube world sometimes. So this dude named Keyboard Musician, he been ripping into uh Hassan Campbell into Poppy. You know, um, going at him hard. A lot of people attack Poppy because um, they think he's just gathering YouTube views or whatever. I don't know what it is. They 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 will attack him. A lot of people just just don't like him, and they think he his story is kind of funny when it comes to the Africa Bambada thing. And it's like you know, I'd stay away from that. That's his business. You know, it's, it's a shame if that what went, went down. It seemed like it really happened, but you know, a lot of people attack him because they think his story is kind of funny. But this guy, keyboard musician, that's what he does. It's pretty pretty crazy. Then um this other dude by the name of um that I actually kinda like, um he kinda battles with them too. RBG Hebrew, um, Michael Edwards, he's out of California, seemed like a real dude. Um, brings some knowledge, seemed to have a lot of knowledge about stuff. And um, like I said, he's it he gets into the into the realm of the he battles a little bit. You know, he defend himself though, you know, he defend himself, he seemed to have knowledge of self and seemed to have some knowledge about the world and um, what's going on, so but yeah, that's uh Michael Edwards out of California. I believe he's Cali. He may be from Cali. I think he's from Cali, yeah. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's all I have. It's some of my favorite YouTubes. This stuff I'll throw on while I'm painting and working on something, you know. Because hey, it's entertaining or it's bringing knowledge. So I try to keep a balance. But don't get pulled in. <laughs> don't get pulled in. But hey, um, yeah, it can be funny. And it can be entertaining. So, But yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Some of my top YouTubers. I may find some more. and um, It's a few I'm missing too. It's some more that I check for. But um, yeah, that's it for now. And uh, Minister Jab too. Minister Jab's pretty dope. So, but all right. Catch y'all later. Peace.